Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make wavetables like the classic PPG. But before I go into Kazar Beach, I want to show you how was it done in PPG Waveterm. So let's take a look. So here is the Waveterm A terminal. Let's go to Compute the Wave in page 1. First select harmonic number 1. Let's place amplitude of 63. And from here I'll go to the Fundamentals library and I'll choose from several waveforms. I could construct the waveforms by numbers, but it's more practical this way. And now I want to store this waveform, so I'll store that at number 05. So let's create another waveform, and I'm going to choose Fundamental 99, which is kind of a sawtooth waveform. And let's store it as 06. All set up. Next thing to do is to go to page 2, create a wavetable. So my first wave is going to be 0, 05. And the last one is going to be 0, 06. Now if I press a key on the keyboard and uh, press the display button, we should hear the sound. Back at Kazar, let's simulate what we did with the PPG. Let's start by going to page 3 and creating two voices. The first one is going to be our wavetable, and our second one is going to be our library of waveforms. Now let's go to page 5 to harmonic faders. In this page we will want to create two waveforms. The first one is a rich one over harmonics and the second one is a simple sine wave. So at segment 1 let's insert uh, 6 harmonics of amplitude 128. And finally, at segment 3, just make one amplitude of 128. If you notice, I skipped segment 2. That's because it's much easier to uh, make the sawtooth waveform by drawing the wave at page 6. So let's select the sawtooth, hit fill. Now we have all three waveforms stored in voice 2. Okay, so now it's time to go to page 4 to draw our wavetable harmonic profile. Let's select our first voice. Let's clear all the harmonics in the screen. Our harmonic number 1 is going to be associated to voice 2 waveform number 1, so that's the one I'm going to start drawing. Now 
Now I'm going to jump to harmonic number 3, which is associated with waveform number 3. So let's draw it. And finally, let's make the same to harmonic number 2, which is associated with wave 2 from voice number 2. I'm going to spend a little bit more time making the lines a little bit more straight. To do this, I'll use the Join tool. I'm going to speed up this process a little bit. And for all this work, we must select Wavetable Voice number 2. Which, as you remember, this is our library of waveforms. Just press the compute button and let's hear the final result. Let's check page D to see our result in 3D. So, as you can see from the image, it first starts with a rich waveform, then goes to the sawtooth, and then to the sine wave, all merged together. But how about to listen to this result in slow motion? Well, there is a simple way. There is to go to page 6, waveform drawing, and select the second mode. This will allow us to hear segment by segment. You can select the speed at the step rate field. Just press play to listen. Okay, and that's all for today and see you next time.